Well, around 300 people registered during a virtual job fair held yesterday offering post-hurricane reconstruction and other employment in Abaco. Hurricane Dorian decimated much of the island last September. The job fair was sponsored by the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Financial Services, Trade, Industry and Immigration, and the Abaco Chamber of Commerce. Financial Services Minister Ellsworth Johnson spoke to some of the opportunities today. They're in need of almost everything. Uh, electricians, uh, carpenters, plumbers, uh, super, supervisors, uh, the president of the Contractors, Contractors Association spoke to the need for collaboration. Uh, Mr. John Michael Clark, he spoke of all of the availabilities from the government, what the government is doing to, to uh, assist in the rebuilding of Abaco. Uh, there was an indication that there's a need for a public-private uh, partnership for the construction of, of, of a man camp. We then learned of the availability of housing one of the critical things that we're saying is that, listen, you, you can't be in other islands and accept to get a job. You, you you have to come. You have to check. And they gave examples of persons who came and a matter of a day or two were employed. There are, there's a lot of work to be had in Abaco. Obviously, you have to do everything now, taking into consideration the COVID-19 phenomenon. Well, panelists included officials from Labor, the Bahamas Contractors Association, the Disaster Reconstruction Authority, and the Baker's Bay Development. Minister Johnson was also asked how the lockdown and travel ban will make an impact. Something that we're, we're, we're dealing with now, but we cannot, uh, we, we, we can't stand still. We have to plan. We know COVID-19 is something that's fluid, and so we know that we have a lockdown, uh, essential services, travel, travelers can still travel, but we have to still, in a way, guided by the medical professionals, continue to do business. And so, as you said, as, as you've seen from the beginning of COVID-19, first they were saying that gardeners couldn't move. Now you know that gardeners can move. Construction workers can move. So as best we can, uh, working within the uh, regime. We're going to see how we could reconstruct this country.